This is Adriana being awkward trying to start a blog. Take one. <laughs> Why you have to put it that way? People around, I'm too shy. This is Adriana trying to make an intro to a blog. Take two. Why can't you do it? This is Adriana trying to make an intro to a blog. Take three. <laughs> That's not funny anymore. That's so sad. Okay, okay, okay. This is Adriana trying to get serious to take get, do an intro to a blog. Take four. And this is Adriana still trying to come up with an intro for our blog, Take 5. It's not like I'm trying to figure it out, it's oh. that I'm just really, really shocked. Hello! Adriana trying to do an intro, Take 6, 5, 4, whatever, We lost remember. count already! Adriana doesn't want to do it. What's up, guys? We are at the Oakland Zoo. Uh, we haven't been here in a while, oh. and uh, this is the first time we've come on a weekend. It's Sunday, and it is packed around here. And uh, look, she doesn't even want to be in the frame. She doesn't want to be in my video. She's too good for my videos, guys. That's not true. I'm just shy. Anyways, guys, uh, remember that video I told you about? This is that video where we're going to be talking about certain things updates on the baby if she talks <laughs> how's the baby how's she doing or it he doing in there he's doing okay it how is it doing in there how's little pennywise doing in there it's not pennywise pennywise no. well it's it right now since we don't know what it is it's it oh, poor baby it baby's doing okay it is doing okay it all floats in there <laughs> they all float in there <laughs> <laughs> oh, dad jokes. Thank you, sir. So, today you are currently in week 18. Week 18? Week 18, and uh, going strong. And, uh, yes, let me fix myself. Oh, there we go. Week 18 today, and uh, going strong. We have some updates, I guess, to say. Uh, what do we have? Um, we still don't know the gender yet. Not yet. We won't find out possibly until November 18th, but when we do find out, we are not planning on uh, knowing ourselves. So we asked for them to give us the results in an envelope, and that way I could give it to somebody. Which we're still planning Which, on yeah. who we're gonna give it to. I have a couple people in mind, but uh, I don't want it to be any family members, just because I want family to be Surprise. Surprise, just as surprised as us. Uh, everybody's already ex uh, expecting us to have a baby girl. Uh, ah, why are sorry. you always hitting me? Because you're so short. Everyone's expecting us to have a baby girl. Uh, I'm gonna laugh at everybody who thinks it's a girl and ends up being a boy. Um, <laughs> like, I said, like I stated earlier, in, uh, when we first found out that she was pregnant, I just want a healthy baby. I mean, yeah, I want a girl, but I really, most, first and, first and I foremost, I just want a healthy baby. I think everybody wants a girl, but I'll be happy with whatever we get. Yeah, I think everybody wants a girl. We've already come up with a name for a girl, so you guys won't know that until the baby's actually born, so. Yeah. And if it's a boy. We have the first name picked out. Yeah. Middle name possibly picked out. One name, I'll tell you, as a middle name, was Dakota. Oh, yeah. Um, Dakota, just for the fact that, you know, it's Native American, and uh, it represents a uh, uh, friendly ally. You know, that's something that I had thought of, but I don't think we're going to go with that name. Just, no. uh, just Yeah, it's... It doesn't, it doesn't s sit well with the first name that we have picked out. Uh, let's see, what else? I feel better now. I'm not going through any sickness anymore and I am going through a lot of mood swings. <laughs> Extremely a lot of mood swings. A lot of mood swings. I, <laughs> he doesn't like it. 
I wake up happy and then I feel mad for no reason and then sad for no reason. So she's I feel, she, I feel bad for here's you. Here's the thing, guys. She found out that My Chemical Romance is getting back together, so she wants to hit those emo stages again. <laughs> wow. Uh, I guess we could talk about the whole. Uh, you being diagnosed with uh, gestational diabetes? I forget how to pronounce it. I think it's it. called uh, gestational G. No. Oh, gestational diabetes or something yeah. like that. I forget it, uh, what it's called, but something like that. You guys, Basically, you guys will probably know what it is. Yeah. She got diagnosed with it. I did, and so far it's been hard because of the time. New and diet. New diet, work, um, just the timing. That's hard. And I'm, I'm getting. It's, yeah. It's, it's improving, you, but. You, you went through a whole week already with it. Uh, a whole so. week. Yeah, so still, still trying. Still trying. New trying things. to figure, figure trying out. Trying to figure my... out. Trying to figure out uh, menus and stuff like that for her to eat because uh, it's tough, you know, when you have to portion yourself. And uh, I mean, we should be portioning ourselves anyway. You know, that's the healthy way of eating. But it's Which like I'm when we're of... not used to. So we're not used to it. So it's yeah, we're not used to portion sizes. But I'm happy that we're getting rid of all the junk. Which I'm happy about. I've been giving her sugar-free candy <laughs> because my baby's been craving sweets. I've been craving sweets, and she so doesn't much. like candy. I don't like candy. She hates candy. I love candy. It definitely is my baby. It is your baby. I'm more like I want more spicy things, and baby sometimes doesn't want spicy. She he wants cake. Cake. Cupcake. Cake. Oh, candy. I'm, I'm just glad she hasn't been craving chocolate dirt. <laughs> no. Not yet. At no, least. Nothing weird yet. Nothing weird. I hope not. Yeah. I hope she never does. I mean, people think that apples with uh, limon and chile was weird, and I'm like, that's not weird. That's, not that's weird. a Hispanic thing. That's a Latina. Yeah, I'm like, that's not weird. Yeah. So, and oh. it's delicious. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we are still planning on gender reveal party to get together. I'm not sure when that's going to happen. We, we need a location. We do need a location. Anybody got any ideas of where we could do it at? Um, Somewhere is wheelchair accessible. Yeah, wheelchair accessible for my dad. I had wanted to do it at the beach because, you know, that's where we had did the, um, the announcement of us being prego. And um, unfortunately, uh, when I thought about it, I realized it's not wheelchair accessible for my dad. So we can't do it there. Yeah. Uh, I thought about the Lake Merritt. I don't know if uh, that's a good spot. Um, what else? We thought of... Jack London Square, but that's open to the public and... Which we don't want. We don't want we to want do like that. We want a nice... We want a nice quiet, little private... private area. It's probably going to be in a park. I just don't know which park. I thought the Marina Park, you know, but... Mm. I don't know. I want something green, but I also want water surrounding too, so... That's gonna be a little hard. That that's definitely that's hard. hard. That, not I many think, options. I don't think we're gonna ha have both. We're gonna need to choose between either green or water. I know a lot of you guys probably thought we were gonna do a baseball theme. Uh, trust me, I would have. He wanted a baseball theme. I, what I wanted is I wanted to see what, see if she would have gotten pregnant earlier when uh, baseball season was happening. I would have asked one of the players to swing the bat for me while I throw the ball. And that's what I really wanted. I would want it. I wanted one of the ace players to be that a part of it. That would cute. But um, maybe for baby two. What baby two? <laughs> Girl, let me get through the first one. Then we can start taking talking about baby two. Mm -mm. That was hard enough for you to convince me for one, two, one. We'll see how I do with baby one. If I could, if I could handle baby one, maybe, maybe we could talk about baby two. You know, I'm not I'm not getting any younger so <laughs> baby two would have to be like in the next couple of years and I don't think I'm gonna be ready for that just yet uh, we'll see we'll see what happens baby one is fine let's let's see how we do with baby one number one but yeah every everybody's excited I know a lot of people have been asking us what took us so long oh yeah what took us so long and March will be together 14 years and uh, she had been begging me for a baby for the longest time. Not much begging. Asking. More like 
Yes, asking Thanks. if if you're ready to have me. I was never ready. I don't and even I, till this day. I don't think I'm ready. Because but. like we talked about before, you didn't want a baby when we first got together, and I was okay I with still that. I don't want a baby. No. Hey. <laughs> And he was okay, and I was okay with that. He was okay with that. And then later on, after the years, you actually were like, you know what? I Look, the pig is eating. Oh! Guys, the pig is eating over there. No. <laughs> Get back to. Yeah, throughout the years, uh, I finally decided, you know what? My my main motivation right now. Or the main motivation to have this baby was one, we're not getting any younger. You know, that wasn't the thing. That that I wasn't. Mean, that's, that's, that's not it's, one. It's not. But the main thing, the main thing is your dad. My dad. Like I don't know how much time I have left with my dad. I don't know how much time my dad has left here on this earth. And you know, I lost my mom when I was 17. And I'm gonna. It's, it sucks that my mom is never going to be able to be here to hold my child. So I want my dad to be here and hopefully, God willing, um, I get at least 10 more years or more with my pops. And I want my pops to see my child grow up. And my dad was one of the main motivations on why we decided to... Especially how the year went. Yeah, the, the year was horrible. I mean, we were already planning it. But we weren't planning it for this year, but we were planning it. Yeah, we were planning it. That's but true, but Pops decided he wanted to get sick on us and uh, he started just his health just started going downhill and And it scared us. It scared us and we decided, you know, you know what? It's time for us to take start the next step and start a family and have my dad be a part of it. And that was he was our main motivation, he was the main goal on why we decided it's time for us to have this child. Yes, and I think we were both already okay not having kids until your dad started getting sick yeah and that's what we were like okay you know what yeah maybe we do want kids yeah, so like yeah I, I can't be selfish you know like it's like if it was up to me like i said in the beginning i never wanted children i would have never had children but you know what i haven't even met this child yet and i already love this child so much he like, does like it's kisses every morning kisses every morning <laughs> kisses every night I, last night I actually had a dream that uh, I was kissing her stomach and the baby kicked me in the lip. Right square in the lip. And she was laughing just like right now. So, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to be able to just be able to say we did this together and my dad hopefully could be a part of it for a long time. You're gonna love and, baby. And not only, not only my dad but her mom you know her mom uh, has been like i said she was begging for children my yeah. mom was begging for grandchildren for a long time you know and her mom and i, and her, I felt bad yeah her, her, her mom just she was patient with us mm -hmm. and uh she was very patient if anybody if anybody deserves to be a grandma it's definitely that lady so she uh she's done so much for her girls yeah you know like She's, she works day and night. She does so much. And I'm like I could, I could admit that uh, I've, I've seen a lot of it. I've been there for most of the stuff that she's done for her children, and I've seen the stress that her mom goes through. And you know, so she deserves to be grandma. She deserves to be grandma. So she, we're, she wants to spoil somebody already. <laughs> so uh, this is not only for my dad, but it's for uh, for my mom for too. Your mama. This is for my mama. <laughs> so I mean, this is a dream come true for me too, though definitely a dream come true for her because Cause I've always wanted kids yeah. I've always wanted at least I'm getting one <laughs> I'm getting one exactly one two one two 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 one <laughs> one <laughs> so yeah guys uh, that's pretty much uh, how this how this goes I'm um, extremely excited extremely excited for this and, uh, am I ready oh 100% not, ready, not no. ready nope am I excited 100% <laughs> excited super excited uh, am I nervous extremely nervous oh. um, am I willing to accept this challenge 100% willing to accept this challenge 
Um, it's gonna be a new lifestyle for me, a whole different world that I've never seen before. You know, like I've been a part of my sister having children, uh, but me raising a child on my own. You're not gonna be by yourself. Well, though. we're not by ourselves, but I'm saying, but me personally raising a child, it's a whole new world to me. Like I've seen my sister raise her child, her children, her two girls. Um, but me personally, I've raised cats, I've raised dogs, and even my dogs, uh, they're not very well behaved. So uh, some that, of them are. Some of them. Some of the them. older ones are. Uh, the younger ones, you know, they're little, little brats. brats. I mean, so. Sheldon is okay. So I'm hoping. To Toby took after Mama. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping that uh, uh, I, I, my my biggest goal is just to be the greatest dad. I can be to my child and uh, but you will. I hope so you will I hope so I know it I hope so I mean one thing I know for sure I'm gonna love that child unconditionally no matter what it's gonna be my baby thank you so uh, uh, we're excited and then I think that's all the updates we have that's pretty much it for now I guess we could talk about vlogs are we going to do vlogs? Oh, we exactly. definitely want to do vlogs. We do want to do family vlogs. Uh, I would love to do an everyday thing, uh, but it's going to be kind of impossible to do everyday vlogs. Um, taking care of my dad, her needing to work. Um, Me getting used to the camera. Her getting used to the camera because she doesn't like the camera. She, she's shy. Uh, so this is just something that we're going to have to learn to do. And, uh, I'll get used to it sooner or later. I'll get used to it. I promise. So hopefully... Uh, Hopefully, you know, like we could do uh, videos, constant, constant videos to keep you guys updated on what's going on. Um, gotta find new locations to go to because I can't just keep doing in the home videos. You know, like I, I like to get out. I don't like videos where it's just inside the house all the time. Yeah. So the more outdoorsy it is, the more funner the videos are. Uh, so we gotta, we gotta find some locations, guys. If you guys have any, uh, any places. That you would like to see around Oakland, yeah. Saliandro. Oh, your future. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> it's gonna be worth it. Watch. <laughs> like we were saying, Alameda, uh, San Francisco. Berkeley. Yeah, Berkeley. Yeah, there, there's a bunch of places in the Bay Area that we can go to. Um, there's places that I've never been to that I would love to check out. And there's probably places that I've never even heard of probably that started, you guys probably know. Probably started with Oakland since we live in Oakland. Yeah. So if you have like... Any places you guys want to see, just let us know. Yeah. And then uh, we'll try to make it happen sooner or later. So, alright guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Um, more zoo footage. More, more zoo footage coming <laughs> along and uh, enjoy. This is the end of this vlog, but you guys, if you guys want to watch, uh, actually, this is not even a vlog. This is more of an update. This is the end of this update. If you guys want to watch uh, zoo footage, stay tuned. This video is going to go a little long. Uh, this is, we've already been rambling for like uh, 12 minutes or so, or no, 15 minutes or so. So, yeah. All right, guys. Talk to you guys later. Enjoy the animals. Hello short. <laughs>